Chess friends, how are you? Today I played an absolutely crazy chess game with new chess bot Torch. Levy claims that he has LO of 1 million ratings, I will test him. If you are working on something that you really care about, you don't have to be pushed, the vision pulls you, so let's go, I started the game with knight f3, we have e6 d4 knight f6 knight here and he played c6, which is called Tartakova defense, e5 b5 and g6 can be played in the future, or bishop f5, we have e4 to control center squares, so bishop g4 and after some moves later we have e6, it is called small center defense, black can play e5 or b5 in his next turn, bishop e2 d5 knight d7 and I played g4. That's a commander move, I gained more space and advantages with my pawns and I restricted black position, black will feel uncomfortable, in this position, black can't play h5 to open up his position because the knight will come to the g5 square to pressure king structure, the bishop is also there to add problems, queen can also come to the f3 square to attack black king in king side, the king isn't in a healthy condition so he played h6, h5 bishop h7 g5 to open up the position. Takes takes to target these idiot pawns, torch played c5, try to gain center space and activate the bishop and queen lines, so we have h6, try to open up this file to target this elephant, c takes d4 to target the bishop and knight, if you take it with your bishop then you will lose your knight, if you take it with your queen then black will gain an extra move for the knight, that's why I played h takes g7, targeting to the bishop and rook, my pieces are also hanging so what should black play now? The rook is more important than anything else so we have bishop takes g7, bishop goes to h7 to target this pawn with two pieces, here if you try to protect the pawn, bishop g8 or g6 will lose your position, let me show you the variation, if bishop g6 happen to protect this diagonal, then I will capture the pawn to target your pieces, and the worst thing is that you can't even touch my knight, if you take it then bishop takes check will destroy you, king f8 or king e7 will lose your position. There is queen f3 to create millions of problems for the king and there is bishop g5 to lasering the king and queen, don't forget that there is the killer e pawn to blast your f6 square, so in this position, if black decided to play queen e7 then we will capture the d pawn pressure the queen, the queen have no square left to go so she has to take the knight, then we will play amazing knight c7 check and that will fork up your king and queen. It's a whole lot more satisfying to reach for the stars, even if you end up landing only on the moon, so back to the position, Torch didn't cared for the pawn and he played d takes e3, so I played knight takes e6, that's a super brilliant move, I know no human can play it, chess needs at least, 10 IQ points but human have infinite times stupidity. Said by Albert Einstein, but I don't know why the humans think that they are better than any creature on this planet, maybe because it's proof of their infinite stupidity, we have e takes f2, you shouldn't take the pawn because of queen d6 check and then you will lose your knight for nothing, lol, so we have king f1, here if black tries to save the queen for example queen b6 then we will capture the bishop with a check, king here queen takes d5 to target this pawn, donkey brain levy rosman may go for the knight but after takes, king here bishop f3 check, it will be mate in two moves. No matter what happens in life, be good to people, being good to people is a wonderful legacy to leave behind, so back to the position, we have queen e7, knight takes pawn to target the queen, and look at the queen, the queen have no square to run, she is trapped so she has to take the knight, knight c7 check to fork the queen and king, king here knight takes check, takes queen d2 to frock the bishop and king on g5 square, king c8 bishop f3, I want to play queen c3 check so torch takes the pawn on e5. Rook d1 a5, queen e2 to go to the c4 to target the e6 pawn, we have rook a6 to protect that rank, queen c4 check and here if you try to block the check with knight, then you will lose the e pawn, knight p8 to protect his brother, but that will not help anything because I will sacrifice the rook on h7, takes queen g8 check and you will lose the rook, king here and after some moves later we will get this position where I have a queen bishop and three pawns against his ant army, so chess friends. If you want to become like me then just like and subscribe the channel, you will get my blessings, so back to the position, we have rook c6 to block it, so bishop takes rook, takes and I captured the knight with my rook, takes and I captured the another piece with my rook, 
I don't act like the Joker and Monkey Levy, shouting like an ass, the Rook, takes and I played Queen D3 check, forking the King and Rook, that was my idea to sacrifice my Rooks. Even an intelligent person can't understand my plan and ideas because his IQ is also under my shoes, Bishop takes pawn and this position is not so bad for me, he have very good pieces position and pawns to protect their king, single king and queen can't do anything, I have to make a combination otherwise the game will be a draw. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.